C.S. Lewis said it best in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. If you remember in the first of the Chronicles of Narnia, uh, Lucia, I guess it was, went through the wardrobe into Narnia. And she came back and was trying to explain this to her, her siblings, but they wouldn't believe her. And Lewis, uh, as the uh, narrator, uh, and the man in the, in the house uh, that, that owned the wardrobe, he said, um, and this isn't word for word, of course, uh, but he said, if somebody makes a claim, no matter how incredible and hard to swallow, there are only three possibilities. They are lying to you, or mistaken, or telling the truth. However, if they are honest, you know they are not lying, and if they are sa of sound and sober mind, you know they are not mistaken. There is no other conclusion but that the extraordinary claim has extraordinary evidence. Logic, what do they teach them in schools these days? And that was kind of watered down a bit in the movie, I think, but uh, in the book, it's a little bit more clear, I think. All right, so the eyewitnesses to the resurrected Christ were just that, eyewitnesses to the resurrected Christ. Uh, so they weren't lying. Uh, they weren't, there's no reason to suppose they were mistaken. They were honest men. Therefore, we can believe them when they say that Jesus did rise from the dead. And the fourth and final E, D, um, the emergence of the church, that is uh, the, the, the fact that the church emerged and eventually came to take over the the Western world. Uh, that's on, that's hard to explain uh, unless there really was a risen Christ, uh, because uh, in the early days of the church, uh, there was so much persecution. And remember, this was a religion that was based on an, an actual, factual, objective, historical event. And people were uh, converted, even people who initially didn't believe, like, like James, the uh, brother of Jesus, uh, they, they were converted to be followers of Christ, and many of them ended up dying for their faith. Uh, so under heavy persecution, the church spread like wildfire, and that is hard to explain uh, unless uh, we posit the fact that there was indeed a resurrection. So, uh, next in the next video, the last video of this series, I will wrap everything up uh, with my concluding remarks. Shalom. Out.